Welcome to Southern Alberta. Looking right at us. First time mule deer on. Made her back for another one. We did. Just found a buck. I think there's a buck in the corral. We got wind today. We're gonna get in that house, and hopefully we got a 50-50 chance. Wow. What a deer. And what a story to go with it. Good job, daughter. This is quite an experience for me. Here we go, episode 16. How do we get here so fast? A few episodes ago, I was talking about first blood, who's gonna draw it on the team? Well, Brian Weiss was first, and now we've got Todd Bigby and Wade heading to Alberta with our good friend, Corey Jarvis. This makes 17 or 18 years we've been going up there, and our goal is this year to get Todd on his first mule deer ever. Uh, feels like the first time, if you will. It's the first hunt of the year for Wade. It's gonna be Todd's first time trying to kill a mule deer. It's gonna be Todd's first time behind the camera. So we'll see how this all comes together. Wade's gonna coach him, Corey's gonna coach him, and Todd doesn't need much coaching. He's a killer from way back. That old boy's from down in Alabama. He's a turkey killer, that's how I met him. He's killed some of the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life, but he's never killed a mule deer. We're gonna give it a shot in this episode. How's it going, Todd? Right. What How you, you doing? say? You're yeah. excited? Yes, sir. <laughs> first yeah. trip up to Alberta? Yeah. It's those big muleys. Yeah, first time mule deer hunting. Yeah, we're going to have a great time. It's yeah, fun. Excited. So. Cool. Finally met up with Todd, and we are on our first leg of this journey. Going to get to Chicago and then jump on a, another plane and go on to Calgary. Corey, we're on our way. Finally made it yes, to the promised land. Just gotta grab our bags uh, and about a two hour drive. So we'll head south to Corey's, get our bows out, shoot a little bit, and uh, see what we can find for a target. Most important bag of the trip. Man, I'm excited. I, I, uh, First time to ever hunt mule deer. I've hunted up in Canada uh, for whitetails and stuff, but I've uh, never hunted mule never hunted mule deer at all. So it's uh, I sure appreciate you guys asking me to come because I'm uh, it's first time deal. So Corey's waiting on us. We gotta send you a pen to the cabin, head out there, and meet up with him. Hopefully, we'll find a good deer this evening. Man, yeah, that's exciting. How's it going? Good. You made her back for another one. We did. Good seeing you, buddy. Good to see you. We're back again. Good stuff. Well, you guys ready to have some fun for the week? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Be good stuff. Pretty place here. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. We're looking forward to it. Be a fun week. Yeah, well, let's grab your gear and get you loaded inside and take some shots if you want a few shots yeah, and sure. we'll make our way to Pincher Creek here right away. Perfect. Sounds good. We're going to shoot a few more arrows here. We're excited to get out here for the first afternoon and, and uh, see what's around. We're going to be happy no matter what. So excited. Let's do it. Todd's got his magic ticket. <laughs> Man, Take yeah, play. we're legal. Most important thing. Yes, sir. Egg on the bucks tomorrow. Waiter, you ready to get after it? Oh man, I am. Look forward to this trip every year since I leave. <laughs> well, 53 years old and feels like my first hunt ever. First mule deer hunt. This is exciting. Let's get to it. Flip stick, let's go after it. Coming for you, big four by four. Corey, what's the plan? Find them, bet them, kill them. That's simple, huh? Can be sometimes. Just found a buck that Corey has been watching out here. It's a big four by four. He's going out in the canola. Really, really nice deer. There's a couple other 
satellite bucks running with him if they're a couple of hundred yards at the base of the hill, so we gotta be real careful right here. And, uh, boy, it's exciting, beautiful morning. Happy to be here. Pretty calm looking day today, Wade. <laughs> it's never good. We got our target, just uh, don't have the wind. Yeah, the buck is, did what he was supposed to do. Looks good, now we're just waiting for the two other little guys to settle down and figure out where they're at. And uh, hope for a little bit of wind. We got a while now though, so. But the good news is we found the deer we're after. Now we'll see what we can do with it. All right, go time, buddy. All right, well, been watching these bucks all morning and fixing to take off on the first stalk of the year. I'm gonna see if Todd can get in there and get on this one. Kind of quiet and calm day, so that kind of stinks, but we got Master Wade behind the camera, so and Todd on the killing machine, so we're ready to go. but no cigar. Stood up facing us, we never had a shot, so we tried to wait him out a little bit, but he eventually got too nervous. Yeah, just a little too older. Made the right choice. All fun, he did good, got in on him. Pretty buck. Hope we can get his number in before the week's out.
us again. Forty yards. He stood up, looking right at us. And had us. He didn't walk either way. He turned around and ran out of range. We're in the comfort zone. <laughs> Broke the comfort barrier again. Just, it's so dead quiet right now that even the slightest little sound, freaking things. He stood up and looking our way. No wind today in southern Alberta. Windmills ain't making any money today. Well, again, this deer's not alarmed. He just went right out there and went back to feeding. We think he'll lay back down. The wind's supposed to pick up tomorrow. Maybe we can get a crack at him tomorrow. Well, here we go for morning number two. Uh, yesterday was just a great day. Had two uh, close encounters and just couldn't take frontal long shots or we'd have us a mule deer. So uh, looking forward to this morning and we'll go back out and try to get on them. Well, interesting morning, day number two, Todd. And came back out looking for our buck out in these big massive canola fields where we spent the day yesterday. Didn't see him and we're rolling up this hill. And I was telling them the story about the buck that got in the corral. And uh, I drove past the corral and joking about it. And Todd looks over at me and says, I think there's a buck in the corral. So we backed up and looked. Sure enough, the buck we chased all day in the canola yesterday decided he's gonna go stay out of the wind and the sun and lay in this catch pen corral up here. So we're gonna sneak up and see, see if we get close enough and he's gotta come out one way or another. So we'll see what happens.
round threes wound up. He, uh, something got him up and he got out of the crowd at another point besides the one we thought. Somehow he uh, went down and we saw him cross the road. He went back into the canola where he was at yesterday and went and laid down, but we got wind today, so we're gonna try to make another stalk and go in for round take four. You ready, waiter? Four is the time, four is our time. <laughs> Jeez, what a, what a goat rope. <laughs> we'll get him one just after him. Persistent. Yeah. We, we were persistent this afternoon and uh, went from six hours of sitting on him and then all of a sudden, bam, gone like yeah. a ghost. Yeah, six hours and we thought we had him, but that's what you get when you think you got him. <laughs> All right, let's get out. All right, time for round four. We got wind today, though. We're gonna drop off this hill, get in that drainage ditch, head to the north, then try to get around on the southeast side of him and get Corey and try to get him, make a stalk on him. on this guy we didn't like how far he'd gone looked like a good shot but uh, checked it out on video um, kind of spun as we shot but we've been watching him from the top of this hill and he's seems to lay down there and now his head's down so give him an hour or so so let's go see he looks like he's expired from up there so let's go see what he's got.
think it is him, buddy. <laughs> Good job, daughter. Boom. What a deer. Look at that. Wow, waiter. Jeez. <laughs> Welcome to Southern Alberta. Dude, thank you, brother. Thank you so much, Corey. Holy cow, that thing is enormous. <laughs> He's legal. Legal, let's set him up and talk about it, daughter. <laughs> Corey, I'm one happy hunter, brother. Thank you, sir. I never dreamed I'd be able to get one like this. I mean, that's... Oh, he's a dandy. Beyond my dreams. He, boy, he gave us a runaround, didn't he? So many encounters. Yeah, he was a little bit elusive there a couple of times. He's he... kept standing up, facing us, and you know, you know what that front shoulder is, and just couldn't get him where he was quartered away, or, or broadside, or even giving us even a quartering. Yeah, well, you made the right call, though, not shooting on those quartering shots. We, we knew we'd get our chance, so I knew you'd get in on him, so. Well, you know, they get in this canola. I, I, I've never hunted anything like this, but doing mostly whitetails and a few elk. This is this, this spot and stalking them in this canola. It's unbelievable. It's a big challenge. It can be a challenge if I'd you don't have that. the wind, if you, you know, depending on how high the canola is, it gave us fits this week. Wow. But it's an unbelievable trip. We got her done in the end, so that's all that matters. I want to so. thank Wade for, um, and Mark for having me up and have you having me and Miss Deanna. And, and Hunter and your other boys, we just thank you so much for having me. It means a lot to me. Beautiful cape on this one too, so it'll be looking great on your wall. Oh man, thank you again. Wade well, was so gracious to let me hunt first because I've never taken a mule deer and you know we got a lot of the week left and, and Wade's up and I'm going on my maiden voyage with a camera. God help us. But uh, <laughs> But uh, man, I'm excited. I know he is. I'm more worried about how Wade can shoot. That's what I'm more worried about. <laughs> All we'll, right. we'll give it. We'll give a quick little camera tutorial here <laughs> here tonight. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go get him buttoned up and go yes, get out. Yes, sir. After. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. Well, congratulations to Todd. What an awesome first mule deer. Uh, that mule deer definitely gave us the runaround, but nonetheless, uh, we got the last word in on that guy. But it was an awesome hunt. It was fun chasing him in that canola. It was Todd's maiden voyage behind the bow after a mule deer. Now we're gonna put Todd on his maiden voyage behind that camera and I'm gonna grab the Matthews, take a few shots here and uh, see what happens in the morning. I'm excited. Well, we should be good to go in the morning. Take a few more shots here and uh, go get some rest get in bed and uh, in the morning we'll be after the big mule deer again. This episode of DoD TV is brought to you by the incredibly durable Morel Shooting Target. With many designs available, you're sure to find a target that fits your practicing style. What do you think, Corey? Is today going to be the day? Today is the day one goes down. Hopefully we can knock one down. Got another good target buck in mind, so we'll take a look. Yep, and uh, we'll see what happens here the rest of the week. Day three starts now. Start working our way down, and, and by the time we get closer to that canola, 
DeerCast is saying the wind's gonna pick up. Then we'll just ease into the canola nice and slow. Looks like there is like a green ridge. It'll be a little bit more quiet to walk through. Um, but uh, three guys going through a canola field is never quiet. So we'll see what we can do. All the other bucks separated and went below him. Um, so he put himself in a really bad spot. So we'll see what happens. Busted out of the canola field by a little one that was shedding his velvet, and now they're trying to come up and over this hill. So we're gonna try and see if we can cut them off and uh, make it play that way. It's getting pretty windy out though, so we'll see what happens. Break in on your maiden voyage of the, behind the camera. Close but no cigar. Close but no cigar. Not close enough. out as planned. We sat on that deer for probably two and a half hours, uh, hoping whenever he got out of his bed, he'd walk the sprayer track past us. He did not do that. He went the other way. We're running out of time. The deer starting to get up on their feet. He wasn't going to re-bed, so we made an aggressive move with this 30-some mile an hour winds and uh, tried to swing around in front of him. Just didn't pan out, but fun hunt nonetheless. Yeah, we got to about 50 yards of him there, but uh... in this wind, it's just a little far. <laughs> Yeah, need to so, be a little tighter than that in this wind. This canola is tough to hunt them in though, so. Sure is. Take what you can get. Absolutely. On to the next. <laughs> we are on morning four. You ready, Todd? Ready, buddy. It's gonna be a good day. Uh, there's a chance of rain today, is what DeerCast is saying, but not much of a chance. Uh, 30, 40, 50%, something like that. But uh, 
wind speeds are a little lower, but we did find the buck that we filmed the evening before opening day. And uh, he was back in that same field. Hopefully he stays in that field. And it's really good stocking and uh, there's not a lot of canola that's up to their chin. So we'll see what happens this morning. Looking forward to it. Wade's gonna get her done today. Corey, you're gonna get her done today. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> We did. We found him. He's not too far from where he was last night. Unfortunately, he's not in a field we can hunt, So, but they're not settled for the morning yet anyway, so we'll see where they go. Just got to sit back and watch for a while. Hopefully they go into one of the two fields right here we can hunt. Two we can, two we can't. side or the other side? Mm, there are several openings in it. Well, so we got a, a pretty strange set of circumstances here. We thought those bucks were going to bed around that old barn, um, but they didn't. They went on to the big bush pile. Um, there's like three rows of bushes, and uh, so I pulled up deer cast. I got some distances. And what I think our plan is with this northeast wind, we're going to get in that house and hopefully we got a 50-50 chance that they go out the west side of the bushes, the same spot that they went in. And uh, the furthest shot is like 70 yards across to the end of the bushes. If they make any ground at all, um, it'll be, you know, well within bow range. And then between the house and the barn is about 50 yards, so they should be well within bow range if they come out and go anywhere south and west. So we're gonna sneak all the way around, get our wind right, and try and sneak into that old house and use that as a blind. But uh, it's only 10.30 uh, in the morning, so it could be a long sit, but uh, hopefully it's a beneficial long sit. And uh, they come out the right side of the bushes, maybe they'll get up midday and feed. We're gonna make our way around and uh, try and get in that old house, use it as a blind. So uh, really big four by four. He's got one other buddy with him, so we'll see what happens here. Like I said, we got a long journey around, get in that house, and hopefully before dark they pop out within bow range.
That's the ending that we were looking for. Again, I apologize for the shot, but uh, just like Deercast Track said, it must have caught that artery coming across the front, and uh, he was in a spot where we could get above and just watch every so often. He was in this old pond bed, but he ended up going up on the hill just a little bit whenever we rolled up here. He was laying on his side, so let's go check him out. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Wow, what yeah. a deer. And what a story to go with it. Look at how wide he is. Yeah, he kept an eye on him for the last half a dozen days for, <laughs> for all for today. I appreciate all you Hunter Tyler's help that you guys do year after year for us. It's just so much fun up here. My favorite place in all the land. Awesome, let's get him tagged up. We'll set him up and talk about him a little bit. Right Here's that green tag. I appreciate it, Corey. Buddy. What do you say, Wade? Well, first off, I want to say thank you and thank Hunter and thank Tyler uh, for another great trip up here to Southern Alberta, Three Rivers Adventures. We do it again. Did her again. <laughs> good, good times as always, man. It's a beautiful buck. I appreciate that. It was, it was awesome. It, and the story, you know, killing him out of that old homestead is just unbelievable. Again, I apologize for the shot. Um, you know, I hit a little forward. Nonetheless, ran it through Deercast track, and uh, we, we knew this rain was coming, uh, so we kept checking in on him. Here it is, two and a half hours later, and he was laying about 100 yards from where we last last saw him go down in bed. But awesome, awesome deer. I can't be more thankful and more happy. And uh, thank you, Todd, for being behind the camera. It's his maiden voyage behind the camera. So, like I said, just an awesome, awesome hunt up here in Southern Great, Alberta. Man. Lots of fun. All's well that ends well. I mean. I knew when you hit him though, the blood was coming yeah. out of him pretty good. He was in he was in bad way, but uh, got him done. Let's Absolutely. get him taken care of. Yep. Thank you again, I appreciate it. Awesome. You know, one thing I love so much about these muddy knives is this blade, I was gutting those last January, but got up here to Alberta, gonna cape out this mule deer, and all you do, just a one click of a button, and you're razor sharp again, so. Just real quick and easy. Just like that. Lock it in. You got a brand new sharp muddy knife to get that nice clean cut on your next kill. Awesome. What do you know, an incredible episode from up there in Alberta. Like I said, it's been 
almost two decades we've been going up there with Corey. He's the best guide in the world when it comes to mule deer. A 182 and a 184 for Wade and, and Todd. Uh, I don't know that we've ever had a better trip than the one they just had. And the best part about right now, this time of the year, the seasons are opening up all over the place. We're in mid-September, Missouri just opened. So uh, hopefully we'll have some luck. There, there isn't a deer down yet. However, hopefully by the time the next episode rolls out, we'll have a deer down in Missouri somewhere. Terry's out there, Matt's out there. Matt's been in Kansas. Uh, we're getting started here in the Midwest. Coon dogs in camp. So lots of action coming at you through deer season 23. We're adding new videos every week. So make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV is brought to you by DeerCast, the most advanced deer movement predictor ever.